So our new melody in this lesson now is Home on the Range. And there's a couple things we have to talk about in here. The key signature is the one we just worked on with our D flat major scale. We're in D flat major key signature here. Uh, but look at your first measure. There's something wrong with it. It only has one beat. That's what we call a pickup note. So we don't have a complete measure there. We just have the one beat. And it's the last beat of the measure. So it's going to be beat three. So if we're counting this, we don't count that as one. We call it three. Three, one, two, three, one, three, and one, and three, one. Let's count that together. Just through about the first four bars there like I did. Now, when I count off, I'm not going to give you a full measure because there isn't a full measure there. We'll do a full measure, one, two, three, and then I'll count to where you come in. You come in on beat three, so I'll give you two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, like that. So I'll count it off. Let's count this together. One, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, three, one, three, and one, and three, one. So you see how that works. It's a simple concept. You hear music with pickup notes all the time. You just haven't realized how those were written. And that's what it looks like. Since there's an incomplete measure there, typically what we do when we write music is we make an incomplete measure at the end to make up for it. So look at your last measure. It only has two beats. That's because the first measure has an extra beat. So if you add the first measure and the last measure together, you get a complete measure. Typically with pickup notes, that's what you will see. Otherwise, no new notes in this piece or anything like that. We just have that new rhythm. One other thing that we maybe haven't seen to this point, we've talked about ties, but notice how we've tied notes together in here. We've done this in some other things, but it was a few lessons ago. So if you look, oh, we have E flats in there that are tied together. So we have a three beat dotted half note tied to a two beat half note. So remember we add those together. Three plus two, it's gonna be five. And the way we're gonna count that, one, three. So you have to feel one, two, three, one, two. Three is when you move on the next note. And we have that there about eight measures in, and then we also have it at the very end of the piece. So we've seen those before, but we haven't really counted them in this context. So before we play this, we're going to go with the metronome. First thing we'll do, as we've been doing, we're going to count since there's some new rhythmic things in here. We'll count and do the fingerings, then I'll play and you can win pattern, and then we'll play it together. All right, so. Metronome is set at quarter equals 72. And remember with the count off, you're going to get a full measure plus the partial measure leading to the pickup note. Counting and doing the fingerings. One, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two, three, one. Three and one, and three, one. Three and one, three and one, two, three, one. Three, one, two, three, one. Three and one, and three, one. Three and one, and three, one, two, three, one. So remember, five beats on those dotted half notes tied to the half note that follows. All right, I'll give you another shot with the fingerings. I'm going to play. Why don't you win pattern this and finger along as we go? One, two, three. One, two. Mm-hmm. 
Let's play it together. Get that A flat ready to go, first valve. One, two, three, one, two. If you need to, you can go back and repeat that again, just working on the fingerings. If that's giving you trouble, go back and review the counting if you're having a hard time with the counting. We're going to play this a little faster now at quarter note equals 96. Uh, now we're not buzzing this tune, and one of the reasons is because it starts on that low A flat, and that's a difficult note to buzz, especially just starting out. If you'd like to try and practice that on your own, you certainly can. But if you can't get that A flat to come out right away, that's not a big deal on the mouthpiece right now. We're doing plenty of buzzing on the other exercises that sit a little bit higher, and eventually we will be able to buzz something like this. But for right now, we're just playing and wind patterning to practice them. So again, three and two, we're in on beat three. Let's play. One, two, three, one. Give that another shot. One, two, three, one. Now if we think about the style of this song, <clears throat> this is something that we sing. To me this sounds like one that we want to be a little bit more connected. Uh, what we might call, if we want to use the fancy Italian word for it, we call it tenuto. Uh, but let's try to play the notes really connected this time. We're not slurring, we're just playing the notes very, very long and very connected, very close together without a lot of space. One, two, three, one. With those repetitions, I hope each one got a little bit better. If you're still struggling with fingerings in this key, go back and review the scale and review the tune at the slower tempo. Then you can keep trying to speed it up a little bit, go through and do some more repetitions. If you are getting it, continue to work with the style and then maybe work on making it even just a bit faster as you go.